स्टूडेंट्स वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल द चार्ज प्लस क्यू इज प्लेस्ड एट द पॉइंट ओ ऑफ एनी कॉर्डिनेट एक्सेस एंड अ चार्ज क्यू नॉट प्लस क्यू नॉट रिमेंबर दिस प्लस क्यू नॉट शुड बी वेरी स्मॉल नाउ इफ यू विल पुट द चार्ज क्यू नॉट एंड बोथ द चार्जेस आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज देन वॉट विल हैपन नेचुरली देर विल बी द फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन एंड दिस चार्ज प्लस क्यू नॉट इज वेरी स्मॉल देन इट विल मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन due to the force of repulsion in the second case if you will remove this charge for example if this charge is not there now if this charge is not there does this charge will move does this q not will move if this charge q is not there no it will not move it will remain stationary so what does it mean it means that this charge plus q experiences force on the charge q not and remember this should be very small therefore this q not is called a test charge which is used to test whether the q applying force on the q not or not so you can say now that this q not is in the electric field of this capital q if it is if this q not is in the electric field of this q then this q not will experiences a force so there is a region around any charge in which if you will put a very small negligible charge or you can say a test charge then this q not experiences force so how can you write the definition electric field intensity e is the force experienced by the test charge and what is the test charge over here q not q not is the test charge so force experienced greater be the force experienced greater be the electric field intensity of the charge q so limit condition is there that q not tends to zero that is q not must be very small and remember we prefer positive charge on the test charge q not so this is the expression for the electric field intensity so now as per the definition how can you write definition of it it is the region around any charge where test charge experiences force and remember this test charge must be very very small so electric field intensity is a vector quantity and the unit is as per the expression it is a force experienced per unit charge so the unit is newton per coulomb now students 
we will find out electric field intensity due to the point charge. We will find out the electric field intensity due to the charge plus Q. And remember this plus Q is located at the origin. Q naught is the test charge. Let the position vector of the Q naught is R, R vector. The direction of the position vector is represented by R cap. Now, if this test charge Q naught is placed in the electric field of plus Q, both the charges are positively charged. So, this test charge will move in this direction due to the force of repulsion. Now, what is the force experienced by the test charge Q naught? It will be according to the Coulomb's law, F can be written as K Q Q naught because there are the two charges Q and the Q naught upon R square and the R cap, where R cap is the unit vector which gives the direction of the force F. Now, let this is the first expression. According to the electric field intensity definition, E should be F upon Q naught, force experienced by the test charge. Second expression. If you will put the value of F over here, you will get K Q upon R square and R cap. So, Q naught will cancel will cancel out. So, what does it mean? That electric field intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the Q and the Q naught. If you will draw the graph between R square and the electric field intensity, then if it is R square and if it is electric field intensity E, then the graph will be like this. As both the physical quantities are inversely proportional. And if you will draw the graph between electric field intensity and 1 upon R square, 1 upon R square and electric field intensity, they are both the physical quantities are directly proportional. So, you will get this graph. Now, students, we will study about the electric field intensity due to system of charges. Different types of charges are there in the system and we want to find out the electric field intensity due to the all the charges on a particular point. Let this P is the point where we have to find out the electric field intensity which is located at the position vector R. Different charges are there, Q1 charge which is located at the position vector R1, Q2 charge located at the position vector R2, Qn charge located at the position vector Rn. Now, we first of all we want to find out the electric field intensity due to the Q1 at the point P. Then electric field intensity Q2 at the point P and Qn at the point P. So, this vector will be R minus R1 vector 
and this vector will be this is r2 this is r so it will be r minus r2 this is rn this is r so this vector will be r minus rn vector For example, this is the point A, this is the point B, this is the point C. Now, the total electric field intensity at the point P, see the diagram, see the diagram, total electric field intensity at the point P, which is E, that will be the electric field intensity due to the q1 let it is e1 plus electric field intensity due to the q2 at the point p let it is e2 plus any third charge and at the last electric field intensity due to the nth charge at the point p now, what is the expression for electric field intensity E1 due to the charge Q1? We have already seen that E1 can be written as K Q upon what is the distance displacement vector between the Q1 and the point P it is R minus R1 and this is square with a unit vector also unit vector representing in this direction and the unit vector will be represented as R minus R1 vector upon magnitude a magnitude means r minus r1 vector it is the magnitude of that so this complete thing will give you the what unit vector which is from the point a to the point p so plus e2 E2 will be represented as K in the same way Q upon what is the displacement vector magnitude of that for the second it is R minus R2 R minus R2 vector and the unit vector representing from point B to the point P it will be same r minus r2 vector upon r minus r2 magnitude plus en means the electric field intensity due to the qn at the point p now see qn to p so this can be represented as qn here remember students this is the q1 this is due to the second charge q2 and this is the nth charge qn upon r minus rn vector with magnitude only and the unit vector representing c to p so unit vector will be r minus rn upon r minus rn magnitude so this complete is the unit vector this complete is also the unit vector now you can write this expression in this way also total e can be written as k q1 upon r minus 
R1 whole cube and only the vector on the numerator side R minus Rn R1 vector plus this due to the second k q2 upon this will be the r minus r2 vector whole q and r minus r2 vector and finally for the nth charge k this is the second charge now for the nth charge it is r minus r n whole cube and the vector r minus r n. So, if we generalize this expression we can write now see k is the common from all the terms and summation variable quantities are q1 r1 over here also so qi r minus ri whole q and r minus ri now the value of i is from 1 to n if you will put the value of i1 in this expression you will get q1 c r minus r1 whole cube r minus r1 vector if you will put the value 2 then you will get this expression if you will put the value n you will get this expression so this is the general formula for calculating the electric field intensity due to the any number of charge particles in the system at a particular point. Now, if C R is 0 means what does it mean? Now, think about it. If R is equals to 0 means the point P is located at the origin we want to find out the electric field intensity due to the system of charges at the point O. So, if R is equals to 0, then what will happen? This can be written as K summation I is equals to 1 to N QI upon if R is equals to 0, means what will the remaining quantity r i vector whole cube into what r i vector with negative sign also this is the negative sign of this now this is the modulus so, there will be no change in the sign of Ri. This is the expression for electric field intensity. This is the vector. If you will represent in terms of unit vector, then unit vector is the re remove this vector from here. So, that can be represented as minus k summation i is equals to 1 to n q i upon r i vector square and the r i unit vector. So, this will be the unit vector because you have removed this vector, you have replaced this vector by the unit vector. 